everyone, Joe here, and today we wanted to talk to you all about standard PoE. PoE is short for Power Over Ethernet and is the number one solution currently available for powering the vast majority of IP cameras that are currently available. All over a single Cat5e or Cat6 Ethernet cable, you are able to send up to 15.4 watts of power up to 100 meters away to power any kind of IP camera that supports PoE. OX cameras like these used to dominate the CCTV marketplace and are still installed in many locations today. However, by today's standards, IP cameras are actually less expensive to do a new installation with because they require less cabling. Coax cameras like these require both a dedicated video and power cable running completely separate from each other, which results in more labor time and more cost for cable for installation. In today's booming CCTV industry, the IP camera has now taken over as the most effective and feature-rich solution while offering several install benefits too. Power over Ethernet being one of the most important of those benefits when it comes to reducing the amount of funds and time spent on installation. There are three main ways to get PoE to an IP PoE camera. Let's take a look. If you're adding just one or two IP cameras to an existing system, be it an NVR or even an IP-capable DVR, you could use a PoE injector. This device uses local power sources which are often near the network source. This power is then injected into an Ethernet line coming from the injector running to the camera. Similarly, if you wanted to use IP cameras on your main network with either an IP-capable DVR or NVR, but want to install more than just one or two, a PoE network switch, or PoE switch for short, will get the job done. These devices provide PoE to each port on the switch, which itself can be connected to your network so that your recorder can access those cameras. Our PoE switches come in various sizes as small as four, all the way up to 16 ports. Lastly, many NVRs come with an embedded set of Ethernet ports that are PoE. You can run an Ethernet cable directly from an IP camera that supports PoE to one of these onboard PoE NVRs. The NVR's onboard PoE ports will provide both the power and data necessary to communicate with the camera. PoE is a pretty awesome technology that allows us to get our IP cameras running with just a single Ethernet cable. But what if you needed to push further than 100 meters or you needed more power? Subscribe to our channel for the upcoming videos on ePoE for increased distance and PoE Plus for more power. For more information on this or other PoE technologies, don't hesitate to give our sales pros a call at 561-288-5258. We encourage you to call in for any questions you have regarding compatibility, availability, or anything else you might think of. Thanks for joining us today as we talked about power over ethernet, the standard variety. Until next time, have a great one and stay safe.